Hello beautiful and magnificent beings. Welcome to this week's reading, Pile 1. This is the first time I've done a reading like this, so please be patient with me. And I was also guided to do a bit of a different setup. So I'm using three decks today, the Life Purpose Oracle Cards by Dorian Virtue and also the Cosmic Oracle by Yannick Silver and also um, the fortune cookies, the little deck. So these cards can affect you or the messages can come in several ways as I was shown when I was laying the deck out. Um, there could be more than one. They could all connect in some way. There might be just one that speaks to you through these cards but the messages that come through in the other cards will apply to that as well. So starting with the first card we have, author, <clears throat> excuse me, um, you have a book inside of you that wishes to be expressed. Make the time to write it. Okay, so, oops, bumped my camera. So you, you have a beautiful message to share with the world. Um, it's much easier. Don't let it uh, become a daunting task for you. It's so much easier um, to write books these days. There's so much help you can get online, books, uh, people, different ways. Just start writing a rough draft and also it's much easier to publish. Um, you might be picked up by a company or this might be as simple as self-publishing. Either way, this work is very important um, to the world for many people to read what you have to share, some type of very important message, even if you don't think it's very significant, the truth is it is very, very powerful. And a lot of times we don't see our own abilities um, to how we can affect people and our blessings. We might be aware we have gifts, but you never know how it can affect somebody. And Oracle cards, how funny that that came out. You are able to discern answers and guidance for yourself and others. Again, this could be part of what your book is about. Um, they're all linked and can work together very well, but some of them might speak louder than others or singly. Um, you could become a tarot reader, oracle reader, which is the most obvious, but you have a way of seeing things differently than most people. This really resonates with me as well because I can tend to see things about people that they don't even realize themselves. Um, I don't know, I've always been able to pick up on subtleties and just see and understand what's going on underneath, even if they're not aware of it. So you might become some type of counselor. Um, you might become a life coach. You have a way, again, of sharing information, um, seeing things that people don't see and helping them. This could become a group thing. It could be a part-time sole purpose or it could be a full-time thing depending on you know where you are maybe you're going to start your own business or maybe you're just going to help it could also be volunteer there's so much you can do with this and environment you're an earth angel who was born to protect nature and teach about nature and animals so you're very connected to the earth um, you have messages to share. You might feel like you need to, this could be about uh, protection, starting a wildlife park or some type of sanctuary for animals or nature. Maybe you will teach. I'm hearing groups of children for some reason, um, like tours, weekend tours or uh, elementary school tours where kids would show up and you would take them uh, guide them through the forest and point out animals and nature and just express things that they might not be aware of or have experienced in a very special way. So another beautiful message. And look at that books again. We have an author and we have books. So this is coming through very powerfully. You connect to your life purpose through your involvement with books. Okay, so um, obviously, yes, it could be writing a book, but also just reading, learning. It's something you really enjoy. 
Um, I'm hearing book club. I'm hearing preserving old books of some sort so it could become a specialty. You just have a love and a passion, something about books. You know, books are wonderful. I love the, the tactile experience. I love the smell, the sound. Though I prefer audio books, um, I do love touching and holding and just, you know, something about books is very special. So this could be, um, this could go in many directions. You could also be helping an author. You might have some type of um, degree or some type of personal experience where you're able to edit books and just read them and give really good sound advice. Again, advice coming through in the Oracle cards, you have a way of seeing things that others do not. And the last one is body work. And this could cover a variety of things. Um, your life purpose, I think that's a Celtic knot. I'm not 100% sure. Your life purpose involves body work such as massage therapy, energy healing, physical therapy, or exercise training. Okay, so maybe you're going to become a personal trainer. You have something to offer in that area. Um, it could be more, it could be several of these actually. I was a personal trainer for a long time and I did yoga and some Pilates, like I just kept building on it. I came from massage to physical therapy to um, personal training and this type of work. They all go together so well. So you could be starting your own business here or helping a business. Uh, again, sharing information. Um, that you can see others might not be able to figure out helping them with the business but you're very powerful people are going to come to you and want this special type of work that you're doing okay so let's see what messages we have with our cosmic journey oracle and the first one is your 11 year old self and that could be 11 or that could be two and this sort of looks like a childhood drawing. So the message I'm picking up is, if you're still feeling unsure, um, sometimes we think we know, but it turns out it's not exactly the life purpose we thought. Um, if you're still having issues or problems and you're not sure, one of the best ways, and this was so powerful for me when I first heard this, Go back to when you're a child. What did you really love to do? What were you passionate about? Your 11 year old self, or it could be um, even younger, just something that really resonated. And usually that is what our soul yearns for. That's our soul purpose, our life purpose. So just reminding you to go back to that and also just connecting to your childlike wonder, having fun with these, trying different things. Um, keeping what works, bringing in new things, just playing around, working it like a puzzle, you know, with your childlike wonder, seeing it with new eyes until you figure out exactly how you want it. Don't feel the stress and the burden, just feel the happiness. And number 33, master builder number, you are at the divine point. Okay, so you have an option to stay where you are or you can go somewhere completely new. They both look good. Uh, there's a lot of squiggly colors. There's a little pyramid. There's light all around it with some stars. It's your dreams coming true. And you can see the branches growing out of this where this side has a rainbow. So whichever one you feel more comfortable, just make a choice between the two. And again, trying things. If you're not sure which one, you know, either way is going to work great for you. Just decide what you want. Maybe you'll start on one path and then switch over to another. And the next card, number nine. Been seeing a lot of nines today. Cut away what is no longer needed for you. And another tree, I like that's coming through for you. There's a beautiful purple diamond, which I feel is representing of the third eye. So that's another way, connecting with your intuition, trusting, moving forward, getting rid of what's not working for you. And if you look close enough, you can see the branch that's being snipped says fear. So having fun, letting go, not being fearful. Again, childlike wonder energy. Have fun with this. 
And the last Cosmic Journey card, number eight, Abundance. Coming soon, welcome to the ascending age. Look at all that golden light, beautiful heart chakra opening as well, your high heart, abundance. So this is all coming together. It's all going to work out perfect. You know, you're a very spiritual and enlightened being. You're very connected, which that's why a lot of these, this came out for your purpose. And if you're watching my channel in general, that's just who you are, your natural ability. Um, being very connected that way to the earth, to the divine, to other beings, to your guides. So you are moving into a very powerful time of your life. And your last four messages, your fortune cookie. We have travel. Long distance communications will open your life. Exciting experiences for singles and career advancement for others. Okay, so this again, with all of the work, all of the choices or the connected um, jobs, the life purposes, travel is a definite possibility for some of you. This is something you're going to look forward to. You've been thinking about traveling. Maybe you're going to travel and move to a completely different place, to a new country, a new state for some of you. But this is very powerful. This is part of the journey for you. It's meant to be. And tough and trying times. Tough and trying times ahead. Think long term and make decisions accordingly. Avoid negative people at all costs. So I feel like this is just a reminder not to get frustrated and give up. Well, you can get frustrated, but don't give up. We all go through this. Um, you know, if something isn't working out, that just means there's something better trying to come in to replace it. So just try to keep your focus, especially when you're starting something new, make sure to avoid negative people. You know, we want to surround ourselves with the most caring and loving people because we're feeling a little vulnerable and unsure of what we're doing as we move forward, which is expected. So it can be a difficult time, but see it as a new challenge. Surround yourself with the right people and keep going. Challenges, again, that's coming up. Take time out from problems or conflicts or approach softly to avoid making matters worse. Okay, so I feel like for some of you, there's going to be a couple big challenges, but this is giving guidance. It's kind of backing up the first one. It's giving you the right advice. So when this does happen, you know, just take a moment to calm down, to reflect, um, seek counsel that is very supportive to you and try to avoid the conflicts. Don't allow yourself to get sucked in by somebody that might be trying to cause an issue or throw a wrench into what you're doing. Uh, approach softly with an open mind without judgment. Okay, and the last message. Look at that. Major life change right beside with coming soon. Welcome to the ascending age. Remember how I was saying big things are coming or happening for you? Major life change. Time is right for major life changes as a new lifestyle or location. Again, that's coming through a new location. Great joy and a trouble free existence. So everything is working out in your favor. There might be some ups and downs, but it's telling you it's all going to work out just to, you know, do what you need to do to um, feel your best. If you need to take time and then come back and reflect, don't make hasty decisions. Everything is working in your favor. So beautiful. This is the perfect time for you. So I hope you guys were able to enjoy that and you got some good messages. Please let me know if you liked this style of reading that I did for you and if it was helpful. Thank you so much. Good luck on your path this week. Highest blessings and infinite gratitude. Satnam. Hello beautiful and magnificent beings. Welcome to this week's reading. This is my first life purpose reading in this manner. I've been guided to 
do a little bit of a different setup. Uh, please be patient with me as I said this is something new. We're using three decks today, the Doreen Virtue Life Purpose, also the Cosmic Journey and the Fortune Cookie uh, messages. So let's see our first card we have. Oh, and also I forgot to mention um, the way the reading is set up, all of these cards could resonate with you or it could be uh, an individual or a couple, but they all connect in a way that, you know, could be very fulfilling for, as a, a complete soul purpose, or maybe you'll just get uh, one or two. But after these main cards, then the rest of the cards that I bring out uh, will be direct messages to you about one of these that you have chosen, or more than one. Okay, so the first card, Healer. You have the spiritual gift of healing and a desire to share it with others, which I'm not surprised many of you, there are a lot of healers that watch my channel as well. So this could be something you've been thinking about. You might be very aware of this, or maybe you don't even know, but you're suddenly feeling guided or directed towards some type of healing. So this is a very powerful message. Um, it could have to do with animals as well. I noticed there's animals on the second card. Oops, sorry, I bumped my camera. Um, but some type of healing, and it doesn't, it could be a doctor, this looks like a surgeon to me, but it could be as simple as um, teaching meditation or yoga, um, any type of healing work. It doesn't matter what it is, you have a natural ability that, I mean, it, it could just be walking into a room. A lot of us have that ability to affect people just by being around them and instantly raise that energy. And animals. Some of you might be thinking about veterinarian, becoming a veterinarian or even just working for a shelter or starting a shelter. Animals, you understand animals and communicate with them intuitively. Trust your inner guidance that the animals are part of your life's work. Okay, so working with animals in some way. Also, I'm hearing for some of you um, private sessions. Like you might start a business where you actually go to a person's home. And I've seen shows like this on Animal Planet. I can't think of their names right now, but The Dog Whisperer and I think it's Caesar Milan or something. Uh, there's a horse whisperer. You have this ability. You might be starting a business where people hire you to come to their home so you can see the setting and what's going on with the pets and give advice on how to handle them. You could be starting your own business where people come directly to you for some type of teaching. Again, it could be volunteer work, uh, an animal shelter, working there or starting your own. Uh, it's pretty much limitless because of this ability that you have with animals and strength. Everything you've experienced in your life has made you strong and courageous. So this energy, this is a nice little boost for you. You feel confident even if you're nervous or a little antsy. You're very confident in knowing exactly what you want to do, even if you're not sure how to start or go about it. Once the movement starts, once you just decide to move forward with this, everything will fall into place and all of that. Um, anxiety will just drop aside and you'll just feel so much love and joy in your heart. And we have study. Reading, research, and education help you gain confidence coming through again. Uh, gain confidence and clarity about your career. Okay, so this is more advice about the strength card. Um, following the strength card if you start to feel a anxious or anxiety. This could be about going back to school, but it doesn't have to be. Um, that's one of the wonderful things I love now about this day and age where, you know, our, gener our grandparents and our parents had that model where you go to school, you get married, you have kids, you know, you work until you're old and then maybe you have a vacation. But we're seeing now that a lot of the things that we were always told, uh, you can never be successful, you can never make money at that. That's total BS. All you have to do is have the confidence 
and the knowledge. So for some of you, it doesn't necessarily mean going back to school. Maybe you just need to self-educate yourself on whatever this life purpose is that you're following, whether it's a healer working with animals or something else. Um, you have everything you need. Just take time to figure out the next step, how to go about it and get the information. Or it could be working with someone as well, maybe hiring a person or doing part-time work uh, or volunteer work to learn the knowledge that this person has. Working out some type of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Not a compromise, but um, you might not necessarily have to pay for it. You could work out some type of an agreement, which is amazing. <clears throat> and look at that confirming you are on the right path. <clears throat> keep doing what you're doing because it's working. Okay, so everything that you put into yourself, all of the years of work, the struggle, whatever it was, you found the right combination of things that worked for you. So the universe is confirming, yes, you're on the right path, you're doing the right things, even when you don't feel that way. Because um, that happens to me a lot and I tend to get this message as well. So I'm really grateful when that comes through, it really helps my energy perk back up. <laughs> So when you're feeling stuck or questioning yourself, the universe is saying, just keep doing what you're doing. We always have our ups and downs. Okay, so the messages from the Cosmic Journey Oracle, number 41, your greatest joy pollinates the world. Again, uh, this message came through in the first reading. If you're a little iffy, you're still not sure what your life purpose is, um, Think about what, what you absolutely love, what lights you up. You can go back to the time when you were a little kid. Think about um, something that just made your heart flutter. Put a smile on your face that you always look forward to. And in your adult life, it's the same thing. What you enjoy doing the most, that is what supports you. That's what puts the beauty and the energy and the healing out into the world and helps people. And 27, there are no wrong turns, wrong, wrong way, question mark. <laughs> so reminding you, I like this. Uh, I feel like this is also reflecting you're on the right path, study and strength. There is no wrong way. Everything we do is a learning opportunity. Some things work for us, some things maybe not. Maybe later the thing that's not working now will work for you later. So just remember, if you start to get frustrated, um, there is no wrong turn. There's no wrong or right way. Everybody does things differently. So just, you know, be easy on yourself, especially when we're starting something new and, you know, we're a little fragile and we start questioning and we want to beat ourselves up. Don't do that. And 23 see through the perfectly purple lens of your galactic destiny and we have a moon with some purple glasses i kind of feel like it's reflecting on uh, the saying about rose seeing the world through rose colored glasses but this is deeper this isn't about just seeing things and you know thinking they're differently than they are this is also about third eye consciousness crown higher consciousness um, your galactic destiny again coming through as a uh, life purpose card. I really like that. So remembering to connect with a higher consciousness, feel it in your heart. You know deep in your heart what your true destiny is. Even if the mind questions, the heart knows. So remembering to see the truth. And the last message. 25, the phoenix rises into joyful abundance. This is the first time, or I'm sorry, the second time I've, the phoenix has come up today. It also came up in one of my readings earlier when I was watching someone. Um, hmm, let me see. I I feel like it's a bluebird, but look at all of the fire around it. Its claws are out. It looks like it has an infinity symbol around its neck some type of color. Um, remembering everything works out. Abundance is always coming in. When you feel like you're crashing, think of the phoenix rise to the next level. 
um, take time to figure out what why things didn't go wrong learn the lessons that are there for you so you can move forward and not have to relive that you are a phoenix you will rise from the ashes um, keep learning keep growing you're on the right path remember you're doing all the right things and this will bring in more abundance for you okay and the last four messages manifestations coming in look abundance manifestations a bountiful <clears throat> a bountiful time awaits you your wishes could manifest right now before your eyes so you are on the right path you're on the right life path whatever this is you're choosing for yourself is going to be very successful um, lots of manifestations coming in for you not just one or two uh, overall life in general you're going to be receiving expected and unexpected manifestations very exciting perseverance again coming through a third time you may feel like you are getting nowhere but there are wonderful changes ahead don't give up um, so I feel like sometimes some of you might get a little frustrated want to stop take a break but don't give up keep going um, what is it I've heard before people talk about and I feel like this is happening to me right now they sometimes say right before a huge manifestation it feels like everything is going wrong that could possibly go wrong like you're questioning you're struggling you're wondering what the hell am i doing is this even working because things are going on behind the scenes so you know this has happened to me before too don't give up a lot of times that's just a signal that you know all of these great breakthroughs are about to happen you're uncomfortable if you're just sitting around and not going outside of your comfort zone then it's not as easy i think to attract things you're just kind of a little stagnant you're not pushing yourself but when you're in the uncomfortable energy and you just feel like nothing's working you know you're breaking new ground you're pushing through this is a good sign so keep going twists and turns carefully made plans could be thrown out the window as major changes and interruptions surround you make sure to get lots of rest to cope with all of the upheaval okay so this is the second time a message is coming through about perseverance and just saying you know don't give up again do what you need to do take a break get some rest reflect talk to somebody that's been through it get the advice that you need uh, whatever inspiration it takes to keep you focused and feeling good and the last message oops planning now is the time to lay down the foundation for your future financial gains are more likely okay so manifestations and abundance coming through again this is a third time reassuring you even through the struggles don't give up keep persevering keep pursuing this is the perfect time you know make a plan as best you can but just remember you know things are going to happen it's not always going to go exactly the way we think uh, but don't give up financial gains are coming in you're living your life purpose you're having fun and whatever it is you're doing is going to be very beneficial for many people so those are your messages for the week i hope this was helpful please let me know if you liked what i did here today and good luck on your path highest blessings and infinite gratitude satnam hello beautiful and magnificent beings welcome to this week's reading this is a completely new um, reading i've never done a reading like this for life purpose i was guided to do a bit of a different setup and just to explain it these are the choices here if you chose pile three um, all of these could resonate or one or maybe a few but um, these are the overall choices and then also I will be using the cosmic journey Oracle and fortune cookies so after we get through these the next um, the next decks that come through will be speaking directly to whatever those choices are for you <clears throat> so 
The first card is career change. You're embarking upon a career that brings you the joy and abundance you desire and deserve. Okay, so for some of you, you already know what that is. Um, some of you could be hesitating or just looking for advice, but this card is saying, I mean, look at that lighthouse. You already know um, you're starting to create whatever this is. Uh, let me see, joy and abundance and you desire and deserve so all good things are finally coming in it's all lining up for you the work that you've put into it or maybe you've just stumbled upon it and you're really exciting but it's all falling into place for you so wow what an opening card amazing infinite abundance of course when we do what we love that's when we are the most abundant because we're so happy uh, infinite. I think abundance came through really strongly for all three decks, which again, that doesn't surprise me. Life purpose. Infinite abundance. You're fully supported as you devote yourself to your divine life purpose. Okay, so the first two decks are more optional. This deck feels, or this um, pile feels very different like this. This is speaking to those of you that already definitely know for sure what your life purpose is. So I feel like these are more just confirmations and support so far. Um, so amazing. Really good. And nutrition. You conduct healing work with your culinary skills. Okay, so some of you have a way with food. You're very healthy healing, nurturing person. You're very passionate about food. It could be about teaching. Uh, it could be about cooking or a combination. Uh, maybe this is something you've been thinking about and this is definitely, I mean, three major confirmations off the bat for those of you. Um, also, I'm hearing, what is this? A personal, a personal assistant? Okay, maybe you're going to go to homes. Um, you might be traveling with somebody. You might be starting a business or thinking about starting a business where people can hire you as a consultant. Like you will spend a time living with them. It could be weeks or months. Also, I'm hearing travel. So some of you are going to help teach people, show them how and what to eat and um, spend time traveling with some of these people. For others, they might just be hiring you in general because they're so busy. Um, they might already be a healthy person, but their life is so hectic right now with their business and their work. They need someone to take care of them. So they're going to be hiring you for travel and living with them. So wow, what an adventure. That's very exciting. Okay, and talk to your angels. Instead of worrying, ask for divine guidance. Okay, so this is just a reminder when things get a little hectic. This is another message. I think um, even though all the cards are different, all three piles uh, talked about asking for guidance when you need it and support and just reminding you, you have everything you need. If you start to get frustrated or feel stuck uh, or feel a little anxious, just take a step back, take a breather ask for help do what makes you feel good and ooh, 35 35 on the clock timer and just taking that time that you need but not giving up and then coming back but always ask for guidance the universe always supports us and let go i kind of feel like this goes with talk to your angels walk away from this situation in order to resolve it okay so something's going on right now um in order for you to move forward with this. Um, I feel like, or I'm hearing now, that um, someone's trying to hold you back. Um, not in an overpowering, super aggressive, not in a really, not an abusive way, but maybe someone is afraid of losing you in some way, a friendship or relationship, especially if you're gonna be traveling. Um, there's some kind of situation or something, that's just one. But there's something you're teetering on here, like maybe you're already, um, you're in a completely different job and you're a little nervous about giving it up. But in order to pursue this, you need to let that go. And you've been working there for so long, it can be a little nerve wracking, like it's time to take the leap, the plunge into the unknown and 
Oof, heck yeah, that can be really scary sometimes. But the universe is already confirming this is right for you and you have the support and all of the abundance is going to be flowing in. The joy, the happiness, this is your path. Wow, beautiful. Let's see what the next four messages are. Oh, look at that. Number four, ask wonderfully, receive graciously. So again, it's talking about asking and letting go. And look at that infinite. We have infinity, eight, abundance coming through again. Receive graciously. Ask for what you need. Ask for help. Ask for, I mean, it could be anything. Even if you're just kind of like, um, I know sometimes we can get in the habit of thinking, not all of us, but sometimes we think, only we should do it all ourselves and just ask when we absolutely think we have no other choice. But just get in the flow of asking every day, even for simple little things. Just say, hey, which should I go this way? Should I go that way? Practice getting in the habit of asking is what I'm hearing. Not just when you think that there's no other option. Number 13. Every cycle is a higher opportunity. And we have the, this is, it looks like a little puzzle, but that's also an infinity symbol. Coming in, we have two infinity, two infinity. So um, reminding you just to keep going. You are an infinite being. Learn as much as you can here because in the next life you will be using um, what you're learning here, which is interesting. I've never had that message come in before. So in this lifetime, remember, every cycle is a higher opportunity. Don't get frustrated, um, or I'm sorry, don't give up because um, there's always a solution. There's always an answer. Even if it was just the most horrible situation, there's always something to learn. And you went through it. You're moving up to the next cycle. Look at the stars up there and how the light is shining out of the darkness. You know, you are a light being. You have all this divine support. Your dreams and wishes are coming true as long as you keep pursuing. And number 22, say yes to your open door. Okay, so we've got ask, let go, um, talk to your angels, ask for help. And then again, say yes. I feel like some of you are hesitating a little bit. And again, infinity and look at all those stars and light behind the red door. Stepping into your power of who you are and just flourishing in ways that you never imagined you could do. You have all the support you need. You're feeling more confident to take those steps forward to work through any challenges. Beautiful. And the last card 29 to be enlightened lighten up <laughs> and look at that we have triple rainbow for you so wow that's major manifestations major abundance coming in for you and we have those bananas that looks like the planet is sticking its tongue out so childlike energy just having fun playing around don't get too serious and caught in the doing, 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 or the going, going, going. Remember to have pleasure, take pleasure in each moment, especially if you start to get, you know, you feel lost or you're a little off the path. Just remember, stop, take a moment, ask for help, breathe, have fun, connect to your childlike wonder, lighten up. Life is a journey. Life is fun. It's meant to be fun. It's so easy to get caught up in the outside stuff sometimes. Okay, and your last four messages are surprise. A disappointment will be followed by a pleasant surprise. An invitation can bring love to those searching. Okay, so some of you, this could be about a relationship or a partnership of some sort. Whatever isn't working out for you right now, again, look at that career change. And where's the other channel? Remember, or not channel, I'm sorry, the other card. I don't know why I said channel. Uh, it's talking about letting go. Remember when I was saying how you need to uh, let go of something in order to pursue this new path? Um, this invitation could have something to do with that. And a disappointment, whatever, something just happened 
that you are not feeling very good about. You might be down in the dumps, but this is saying uh, something better is coming through, which is normally what happens when we don't get the things that we're trying to accomplish. It's because something better is coming. A nice surprise is headed your way. Reflection. Friendships in your life may come to an end. Others could blossom and become stronger. Okay, so we did talk a little bit about that too when I was saying about, uh, let me see which card. One of these cards I referred to when I said I was um, talking about how somebody might be trying to hold you back a little or that situation you needed to let go. This is also confirming certain friendships may end, which is okay, but others are going to become stronger. So again, getting the universe is removing what's not working for you and bringing in something better. Nature. Interact with nature in the outdoors, around animals, farmlands, or by the ocean. This will be good for the soul and healing you. So just giving you some advice that you already know, but I always like to hear things repeated for me personally. You know, we can hear it and easily forget it, or it's like, oh, it's so simple, it slips our mind. So the universe is confirming, you know, when things are feeling a little unsteady, just go out into nature and do some grounding, healing, and nurturing of your soul. And opportunities, look at that. We started out with career change and the very last card is opportunities. An important offer will be made, be prepared and dressed to impress. Okay, and also it's talking about a surprise. So this could also be part of that surprise or it might be something completely different. So the universe is really moving you forward here. You're letting go of some things that are not, um, they're just not serving their purpose. Things, jobs, people. And just be aware of that. Um, it doesn't mean you have to completely cut them out of your life if you don't want to, but there will be less of it or it might be completely removed and it's being replaced with better things to help you pursue your life path. So very beautiful messages. Good luck on your path. I hope you like this reading. Please let me know. It was a bit different. Um, highest blessings and infinite gratitude. Satnam.